Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Leno56 and welcome back to some more Farming Simulator 25. So, in the last episode, um, we did a couple of contracts. Um, we completed a cultivating contract and we also did a couple of other ones and then I worked on the cows and stuff. I did do um, another contract in between episodes to kind of get a little bit more money. So, we're at about 93000 right now. Um, I still want to try to buy this field if I can and have this as like my hay field. Um, I'm, I still need a little bit more money before I can actually do that, but we are getting close. Let's see here. And our fields are almost grown. They're not there quite yet. So let's go and check our cows really quick and then... What I probably need to do is buy a... F oh, I do have a fertilizer spreader. I could try to fertilize our fields again. Let's see here. Let's check on our animals. So, there's enough grass in there for right now. There's probably enough water, so we're probably fine. Um, I would like to get some hay, some stylage. What's meadow? Oh, not sure what meadow is, but I would like our cows to actually breed a little bit. And then, let's see here, growth. So, yeah, we're at stage one for fertilizer, so let's see if I can't fertilize our fields again. I'll probably have to get the different tires so I don't destroy the um, destroy our crop let's see here so if I grab our fertilizer spreader Ooh, before I do anything though, I need to adjust my person's clothing because it is no longer winter. We are in the, uh, we're technically in spring. So let's do, I guess I could go back to this jacket. Do that jacket, do those pants again. Yeah, and then I'm going to keep the gloves on because we are, you know, working. So, yeah, okay. So, I'm just going to see. I should be able to get the next layer of our fertilizer. I'm just doing a little test here really quick. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to go and adjust my tires so I can get the uh, the, the narrow tire so I, I don't dis destroy our crop. So we are going to be right back. So we're going to head to the farm shop so I can actually get our, our uh, tires adjusted. And then, yeah, we went all winter. We, we saw snow, but we didn't actually see the snow pile up. So that was kind of disappointing, but oh, well, maybe next winter we'll actually get, get to see some snow and then I can like actually shovel snow around and stuff, which is what I was kind of hoping for, but oh, well. All right, and there's no one coming, so let's go. Yeah, it'll be nice when I can buy some uh, bigger machines and stuff. Although I do want to get another field, so I'm probably going to have to do another contract and then I'm going to try to do some, some hay and grass work. And then I, I can also bale... Um, the hay and grass too while I'm waiting for our fields to grow so I can actually 
start making some money off of our uh, grass field. Hopefully. I'm not sure how, how much grass is worth though, so I'm, we're going to have to look. Alright, let's see what we got here. So we want this guy, so let's do customize wheel setup, medium, wide, narrow. So I want the narrow tires. I could do the I could do that setup right there. That's three thousand. Hmm. I don't really want to do that one. Let's do this one. Uh, and then front loader attachment. I don't want to do that one yet, but yeah, let's do this. And then I think I need to see if I can buy my own shop at some point too, so I don't have to spend a bunch of money to pay the mechanic to do this. Okay, apparently when you customize your tractor and you have a piece of equipment attached to you, you end up disconnecting from it. There we go. We'll just pretend that didn't happen. Alright, let's head back home. Fertilize all four of our fields, get that last stage up there, and then we will go and do a couple more contracts and try to get at least a hundred and ten thousand dollars that we need to buy that extra field. Because I do want to try to um, grow grass there if I can, and it's actually this field right here is the one I want to get. this field is. This one's just always white, or uh, unless that's lime. That could be lime. Alrighty. And then at some point I do want to connect all three of these fields and make one giant field. I think that'll make that a lot easier. Alrighty, so let's start with this field over here. And actually I think I'm going to do it like this. Let's see, yep, we are working, perfect. And we're not skipping anything, so that's good. So let's see if I can turn on the steering assist here. I 
I mean, I am a little over from where I should be, but that's okay. Yep, it looks like we're doing pretty good. I'm kind of using the lines as a guide. Alright, perfect. So this field's done. I'm going to do both these fields at the exact same time, if I can. Yep, that's working. I just hope I don't run out of fertilizer because I can't... Well, I mean, I can buy more, but I don't really want to because I'm trying to save up. Yep, no nope, that, that's working perfectly. I like how you can see it slowly dropping in the tank there. That's awesome. And then I have to do the other field as well. Alright, so now we're going to go straight up the middle there. Which is about right here. Just make sure I'm hitting everything. And I think I missed a, a spot here and there, but that's fine. It's uh, completely fertilized for the most part. Uh, I did miss a spot down there, didn't I? Yeah, I'm going to have to come back around. There we are. Alright, so... And then there's a spot right down here, and then there's another little spot up there that I missed. So we are going to do this. And that's good enough for the most part. All right. Let's head to our other field over here, fertilize this one. And then um, our cows are doing fine, but I'm gonna see how much uh, grass and hay is worth. And we'll also see if there's any equipment for sale or on um, for sale for a discount, I should say. So this one I'm actually going to use the, the GPS for. And then we are running out of fertilizer fairly quick too, so hopefully I can get all of this. I am missing a few spots here and there, which is kind of funny. That's, oh, I know what that is. That's a spot that I um, didn't get seated. Oh, 
I'm gonna have to buy a trailer at some point too so I can haul around all of our seeds and uh, fertilizer. We have about 14% left in our fertilizer here. Hopefully we have enough to finish this field. One feature I really like is how you can kind of see like the the crop like waving in the wind a little bit. That's awesome. Okay, I, I kind of messed up a little bit. Yeah, so I'm going to have to go back and hit this little spot up here then. Alright, so this one's done. So let's head over here. Try to line myself up. I'll turn a little bit this way. There we go. Alright, so that part's done. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna follow this line. We are just about out of fertilizer. Alright, so that part's done. Let's go over here and we'll just use up the rest of, of the fertilizer. Alright, so this field is done. And yeah, I have 1% left, so I'm just wasting the rest of the fertilizer. And gone. Well, we did get all uh, four fields, fields fully fertilized, so that's good. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda like the road tires. might keep the road tires on there and then I wonder how much it is to actually buy a shop you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put our fertilizer in this little barn right here Alright, so let's see here. So let's go to our crop calendar. No, not the crop calendar. I need to go to this. So prices. Let's go until I can find grass in here. Alright. 144, 143. That's not terrible. Hay is worth a little bit more. So if I can turn the grass, that would be even better. Straw's worth about the same as grasses. Wood beams. I'm gonna have to try wood at some point. Can you make a rope? Holy crap. Silage. You can make you can make all sorts of cool things here. Olive oil, noodle, furniture. You can't sell diesel. That'd be kind of cool. 
Jeez, cereal. So I wonder if you can do um since you have cows, I wonder if you can do like like meat. I don't see any, but that doesn't mean you can't. Alright, so I guess I could try to sell some of our grass. Or I could see if we have any contracts available, which bale wrap in dead wood. Hoeing. I do have one of those. I could mow. Although what I would probably do is just rent it to get those mowers. Yeah, let's let's do some mowing here really quick. So I'm going to go this way. Yeah, so let's borrow items. And then let's go mow some fields. My goal is to get enough money to actually be able to buy the field that I want so that I can actually do some grass work there. Because I want to be able to mow the field, I want to turn it into hay so I can sell it. And then I can do that uh, while we're waiting for our crops to grow. Alright, so let's head to the farm shop. I do like the way the, the bigger row tires look. Alright, so the field is literally right there. Alright, we are going this way. I need to get a pressure washer because my tractor is dirty. I love the fact that cars are now a lot faster than you. I, I think it was FS... Um, it was FS19 that... Like, you were always faster than the uh, other cars on the road no matter what. Alright, so there's our equipment. Alright, we'll park our tractor, we'll grab these guys, and we'll go do that field. I'm going to try to do it where if I have to buy any more equipment, I'm going to um, do it when it's on sale. Instead of paying full price for it, see if I can't like work with it until I'm able to find it at a discount. Alright, and then let's see, what, is there another easier way to get up there? I could take the ferry, but I'm, I'm better off just going up and around. Hey, good morning. Are those even flashing? Yeah, they are, barely. There's a barge going underneath the bridge. That's awesome. Alright, so the field is literally right there. On the other side of the railroad tracks. I guess what I could potentially do is I could kind of cut through the grass and 
because the field is right there. So I could just do this. There's quite a few fields that you could technically connect to make bigger fields here. And then um, I did do a little bit, a little test. When you're plowing and you connect fields, the um, steering assist actually does adjust for the new field, which is actually kind of cool. So we have a really old barn right here, which I could use at some point if I end up getting these fields, which might not be a bad idea. All right, so here's our field. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on this side over here. So there's no reason to have my flashers on. Alright, so let's do... And then what I'm gonna what I am gonna have to do now is, too is um, swath our straw so I can collect it and then I can mix it and get the uh, total mixed ration and then I can use the extra straws bedding and then I could just bale it and save it. I'm not sure does straw and stuff go bad? Like will it, will it eventually? Um, I think that was a mod in FS22, if I remember right. Can't remember for sure. Yeah, this shouldn't take us too long. I was, I was considering just using my mower, but that would have taken forever. Alright, so let's do this. We're, we're already 26% completed. Some of these tractors have some pretty nice detail to them. There we go. Yeah, we're at 37% complete already, so yeah, we are going fairly quick. This shouldn't take us too terribly long. So that also makes me wonder, if I am renting machines for a job, can I use the renting machines if I take another job? That might be something I have to test out. 
I'm thinking no, because it's probably only contracted for this field. But then again, there might be a loophole there. We're almost 50% done. That's crazy. Especially considering it doesn't even look like we're 50% done. I kind of want to get some of the bigger mowers too. Because like you could windrow all this up. Or turn it into hay, which hay is worth a little bit more than grass is, and then you could windrow and then sell it. You're, you're not going to get a whole lot of money for it, but you'll get something. So we're at 91,000. I need about 110,000. So another 20,000 in order to buy the field I'm thinking of. Yeah, we're at 60% already. I don't think there's going to be a whole lot left to do. We are cutting through this pretty quick. I think one of my favorite things is seeing how like the remaining crop changes shape once you start to like once you start keep going around. I just think that looks cool. Wish you could windrow all this up. Make a bunch of money from this field. Eventually we, we will get there. I want to try to get my per, um, the productivity for our cows up so then they can start um, reproducing. Alright, so we're about 75% there. So I'd say I, we're going to be done with this field fairly quick. Make sure I'm clicking on the right line here.
Yeah, we're just about done. We're at 80% already. Okay, and then we'll go this way. I'd say two or three more passes and then we'll be done. And it's already five o'clock, so I could potentially, once I'm done with this field, I can see if there's any other contracts I could take, which wouldn't take for very long. And then I could always, uh, go to bed and wait for, for the next day. So we're just going to cut this field in half here, or I guess the remaining field, considering there's not a whole lot of it left. And now we're, we're just going to go up and down. So we'll start off on probably that section first, and then we'll do that section over there, I think is what we'll end up doing. at about 94, 95%, so we are just about there. And then my goal is also to pay back our loan and I want to be able to try to start saving up some money so I can start upgrading our farm as well like get better buildings get better storages and then improve uh, upon grandpa's farm at least that that's kind of my my goal I'm not really sure like what the goal is I want to make because this is a sandbox so theoretically you could just play until you're done playing but I feel like I want to set goal, and then I can move on to another map. Alright, we're at 98%. that one. Alright, so this field is done. Um, if you call that done, anyways. Yeah, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, um,
I'm going to take this back to the farm shop. I don't think... I mean, I could see if there's any other contracts. I don't think I can use this equipment on with another contract, though. I guess I could, I could always test it out. I mean, it's only 6 o'clock, so let's see here. Do we have any other contracts that I could potentially do? I cannot complete this contract, otherwise I'll lose the equipment. So that's the one I just did. But no, that is not the one I just did. Ooh. Wait, where's field 34 at? Alright, it's oh it's a bit of a ways. I could try well let's just test it out. I don't actually have to complete this. Alright, let's see here. Because I'm curious more than anything. And the only reason I'm uh testing this out is because the field is literally right there. If I can do this, that'd be sweet. Although, I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to. But you never know. Oh my god, you can. Okay. Well, that kind of changes everything, then. So you can actually use borrowed equipment from another contract on, on another uh, contract that you take out, as long as you don't accept the first contract, or like, um collect the first contract, you can still use the equipment. I feel like that shouldn't be a thing, but I mean, you're technically borrowing it. That's kind of cool. Oh wow, we're already at 30%. Okay, so let's go back down this way. 35% completed already. If I'm gonna miss chunks here and there, I mean, it won't really matter on these contracted fields. I would never do that on my own field, just because I'd want to harvest everything I possibly can, but on these contracted fields, it really doesn't matter too much.
Yeah, so actually on that field I was mowing quite a bit slower than what I'm mowing now. Which is why this one's also going a little bit faster. So it's 7.30, so yeah, once this field is done, I'm going to return the equipment to the farm shop, accept both contracts, and then we'll head home. Yeah, we're already at 83%. This is ridiculous. We're at ninety percent. Ninety-three. Oh, now it's up and down. Okay. So we'll do this. One or two more passes and then we'll be done. We're at ninety-eight percent. Ninety-nine and done. All right, so let's do All right, let's get out of here. So yeah, we're going to return the equipment to the farm shop, pick up our tractor, and then we'll accept both contracts. So yeah, you can use contracted equipment for multiple jobs, which is actually kind of neat, because I mean, in, theoretically, if they weren't monitoring you, you could actually do that. Granted, I guess if you got caught, they could charge you like an extra fee or something, but So we're going to take a left right here. And then to the farm shop we go. So we have a school bus behind us. Those school buses run non-stop. It's kind of funny. Some flashes are really bright, or not flashes, but beacons are really are really bright, while other ones are just like just dim.
Yeah, so once we progress a little farther, I can start trying to produce some um, some different types of goods to uh, start making some more money. Like, I could start working on furniture, some of the other uh, things I saw. Rope is really expensive. I wonder how you, how, how you end up making a rope. Alright, so we're just going to park our equipment right here. Turn the engine off, then we'll head back to our tractor, and then we'll accept both contracts. Or, about, or I guess, complete both contracts. One vehicle for all your... Wait a minute. That was an actual achievement I just got. Let's see here. Alright, so that's an actual feature of the game then. So you can use one vehicle for multiple contracts. That's kind of cool. Alright, so let's go to active. So we're going to collect this guy. And we're going to collect this guy. And that put us at 99,000. So let's go home. coming and then I need to keep an eye on our fuel levels and stuff too so let's take a left I want to try to buy every field around um, our grandpa's farm. So it'd be all those fields plus this field right here. And so we'll take a left and then we'll take a right into our farm here. Which I guess technically it's not my grandpa's farm anymore, it's my farm. Right, he just kind of stands out there 24-7. It's kind of creepy when you think about it. Yeah, the only reason I still have that tractor is for that cultivator. Do you have anything to say to us? How's it going, kiddo? Sure. Any wisdom to share? Wisdoms, wisdoms. Ah, uh, yes. Since I just polished one of my favorite ones, let me tell you that the plow is a farmer's partner in progress. Wouldn't you agree? Think about the significance of the plow as a tool. It revolutionized humanity, and it's fundamental for cultivating our food, right? You break the soil, aerate it, allow roots to find their way more easily. It allows you to use techniques like crop rotation, help fertility, soil health, and so on. Hmm. A plow allows for new beginnings, lets you create and extend fields, and drive progress. It's like a symbol for the symbiotic relationship between a farmer and his tool. I just really love plows, kiddo. Huh. Alright, we're going to sleep until 8 a.m. So, we are in April. Let's see, how are our cows doing? They're still doing fine, so I'm not going to worry about them. Our growth, we are... I don't think we're on the last growing stage. I think we're on... 
Let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight growing stages. I think we're on number six or seven. Well, actually, eight growing stages. Eight months, so... I think, I bet, I bet you we're on six, seven, eight. Yeah, so in July, we should be able to harvest our fields. So we're almost there. Um, our cows are doing fine still, so I'll probably do a couple more contracts while we're waiting. Hoeing, walk removal, wood transport. The only one I can really do is hoeing. Wait, is that... What is that? I think that's that thing, isn't it? Uh, let, let's turn our tractor off while I look here really quick. I want to say it's it's this thing. In which case, I can actually accept this contract. So if we have that, let's see, what do I, what do I need? One hundred and sixty horsepower. Yeah. So my tractor, my John Deere tractor, cannot handle that. So we'll have to take the Challenger. All right. Sorry, Grandpa, to blind you with with, with the light, but you're just kind of standing there. All right, and I didn't even see where the um, field was. All right, I know where to go. All right, so let's take a right here. And we're gonna go straight. All right, I know where we're going. I kind of have a fairly decent um, understanding of where some of the stuff is on the map. I have no idea where all like the specialized buildings are for making like different products and stuff yet. I think if I do that, I'm actually going to build a facility on my farm. And speaking of facilities, I never looked to see how much the farm shop was. Or not the farm shop, but the like the service shop. All right, and then I want to go up this road here. I believe. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna take a right turn up here, and then a left turn, and then then the field should be right there. I don't know why, but I kind of like driving around in first person. But third person's also fun because you can actually see your guy like adjusting the gears and stuff. Alright, so the field is right here. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to start up on this end and then work our way around. So let's see here. Let's do this. We'll just do auto. I mean, if we can go this fast, this is going to go really quick. Doing pretty good. How are you doing?
Oh yeah, this is gonna go really quick. Doing this field. And then we're gonna go this way. And then we're gonna go up this direction and then I think I'm, I, I have one header and then we're gonna go up and down the field. Well, that's good. I'm just farming away here. Alright, so... Alright, so I'm gonna be careful not to hit the pole right, right, right there. Alright, perfect. And then let's head up this direction. There we are. Yeah, we're already at 30%, so this shouldn't take us too terribly long. Let's see here. We need... 106,000, so 110,000, so we only need about 10,000 more uh, in order to get that field. So I'm probably playing semi-realistic is what I would say. Like, I'm trying to be fairly re realistic, but sometimes it's kind of hard to do that every once in a while, but I'm trying to play as realistic as I can. Like, for instance, I'm not tabbing between vehicles. Like, if I park a vehicle somewhere, like, I'm, I can't tab to another vehicle and do that. I have to figure out, like, lo logistics of getting our vehicles from one place to another. Um, as far as, like, realistic as, like, the yard work and stuff goes, I mean, you can only be so realistic when it's a, a game, but for the most part... I try to be as realistic as I can. Alrighty. Looks like we're 46% done, so we're just about 50% there, so yeah, we're not this field's not gonna take us too long at all. Um, I'm actually really enjoying the, um, the game. Like, it's kind of hard to compare it to FS22 because, but then again, I never really used mods a whole lot. Like, I used the, basically just the Giants mods. There was a few mods here and there that I used, like the GPS mod and stuff, but, um, in comparison to FS22, I do think that this one is better. Um, I haven't done plowing in this playthrough yet, but I was kind of messing around with it, and the plowing aspect is actually really cool, like the how the ground like deforms and stuff, like that's an awesome feature. I think once Giants has a, um, a chance to update the game and get most of the bugs out, like it's going to be fantastic. So, it's funny you say that because we just got out of winter. I saw snow, but there was no snow on the ground, so I'm not sure if, like, you have to, like, load the game up again for the snow to appear or what, but the snow just, like, it was snowing, it just never collected on the ground at all. So I'm, I'm not sure. I'm hoping next winter it'll actually collect on, on the ground for us so I can, like, shovel the snow around. And I did sleep, and there was still no snow, so maybe it was just a little glitch or not. I mean, I, I, I know that there are quite a few bugs in the game still, because I get visual glitches every once in a while. But I'm sure they'll uh, patch it out e eventually. I wonder if I should have done um, 
two headers. Not that it really matters, but... And I think for snow, you have to time it just right. Like, it has to be snowing, and then you sleep, and then it just kind of appears there. Yeah, and that's what I was kind of thinking, too. It kind of depends on what the current and the next uh, month's weather is. I do like that they have their own version of the GPS in the game, though. Like, it's not... It's not great, but it's definitely better than having nothing at all. Alright. Yeah, so we are just about done with this field. Yeah, I remember in some of the older games, like, there was no GPS at all, and you just had to kind of eyeball, and then you'd miss spots, and it was a whole thing. Alright, and we are done. The only thing I don't really like on the contracts is that you can't actually finish the field, like... Like, make it so this is 100%, but if you finish the field, you get, like, a, a little bonus or something. I think that'd be kind of a neat feature. Let's see. Do we have any other... Bill rabbing, hoeing. I could do this one. Wait, is that the one I'm currently in? No, it's not. So, since I have our hoe already, let's do this one as well. Let's see. Okay, so I have to act like we're going to the farm shop. And then I try to drive fairly realistically. Like, I don't just pull on, like, um, zoom everywhere. I kind of try to keep it semi realistic. Like, on the roads, I keep it about 35. Um, I guess that that'd be kilometers per hour, which is about 22 miles per hour. And then in the fields and stuff and around my farm, I uh, uh, only do 25 kilometers per hour. Because I don't want to go so fast where you're passing cars. I, I, I like it when um, cars pass you because that's a lot more realistic. Alright, so it should be right along this road here. Yeah, I think the first farming simulator game I played was FS um, 2011, which is which was drastically different from this game. That's that's for sure. All right, and that field's actually one of the fields that I want to eventually buy. It's the one down there. All right, so we'll head down this road here. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering if that wasn't lime in that field. Alrighty. So... It's not this field. Oh, I did miss a turn. Oh well. Yeah, we're just gonna head around the outside of the fields here. Great, I could drive all through the field and I... Actually, not with this tractor. I, I can't. I guess I did miss a turn, didn't I? 
Alright, so we'll do it right here. Uh, no, I do not have a steering wheel. I want to get a steering wheel eventually, I just haven't gotten one yet. I don't think I would use the GPS mod, or not the mod, the GPS, uh, I, I guess it'd be steering assist quite as much if I did have a steering wheel. I like how it just like folds the crop and then they just pop back up. Oh, thanks. I try to drive as realistically as I can, and it, it is slightly hard to do with a keyboard, but I mean... But yeah, I would be a heck of a lot easier with an actual steering wheel, which I plan on getting at some point. Because I really do enjoy these games. I know that um, there's a couple of steering wheels I've been looking at. I know that they made one specifically for FS22 as well. Let's see. I'm going to do multiple headers, I think, here. So let's do... We'll just do this. Yeah, like like I said, I, I've been playing FS uh, or Farming Simulator ever since 2011, so I got pretty used to doing it with a keyboard. I guess I could be slightly more realistic here and actually raise, you know, the equipment up, but oh well. Yeah, and that's the one I'm thinking I want to get to. This field's just about done. And conveniently, we're right next to our farm. Okay, and then we we'll probably do one more pass and hit the rest of this field here. Yep, and we're done. Well, no wonder I didn't see this road. It's just kind of here. So let's turn right here, and then we'll turn in. Alright, sweet. So we'll drop this off, um, then I'll collect what we made from the con- actually there's two contracts there. So we should be fairly close to buying that field. So I'm thinking we're probably not, not going to uh, get to harvesting this episode, but the next episode we should be able to harvest our fields. Alright, so I'm going to have to put this guy back. I 
think it clips through slightly, but I mean, that, it, that's fine. Alright, so let's accept both contracts here really quick. So we have you completed and you completed. Let's see, where are we at? We're at 104,000, so I need just a little bit more. Do we have any other contracts I could potentially do? 9,000 for that? That's not bad. Sewing, stone picking, wood transport. I'm kind of thinking I want to try this field right here. Fertilize this one. 400. Yeah. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do borrow items. All right, let's head, head back to the farm shop. Whoa, that's a school bus. I mean, let's just be... Be fair, they need to work on the AI, the AI a little bit, because they had a stop sign. He's just like, nope, I don't care. Yeah, I'm trying not to do the, um, the woodwork ones yet, because I did one before I started this playthrough, just to kind of test the game out a little bit, and I was having issues with it, so... That's the one I'm probably not going to do unless I can use my, my own equipment and stuff. So I feel like I'd spend the entire stream just trying to get logs into a trailer. You going to pass me, buddy? I don't think he's going to pass me. Nope, he's just chilling. Oh, there he goes. Alright, and then there is our equipment. Which, technically, I could just use this tractor. You know what? Let's use their their tractor. A little bit of a change in comparison to this one. So, yeah, we'll use their equipment. And then I can kind of see what some of the different tractors are like. Like, look at these. These beacons are so much more powerful than the ones on, on that other tractor that I had. Are you full of fertilizer? Oh, you're not. I have to buy the fertilizer, don't I? Okay. That's kind of lame, but anyways. So... If I have to buy the fertilizer, how much fertilizer do you think I need? Any type of fertilizer. Okay, so I'm actually going to have to buy the fertilizer here. So yeah, I'm probably not going to get very much money from this if I have to buy fertilizer. So we'll do... Just dang it. Yeah, we'll do three of them. I'll still make enough money. I hope. I'm hoping that's enough fertilizer. If not, I guess we'll find out. So, this field... 
is way down there. So basically, if I just follow this road... We should be fine. Okay. I might have to go buy more fertilizer, but... So you can move your head 360 degrees. Yeah, I have downloaded a couple of mods. They've mainly just been like the Giants mods for the different for like different vehicles and stuff, but I can definitely take a look at it. Oh, so you cannot move your head. That makes more sense. Yeah, that one wouldn't be bad. I try not to do the 360 degree head movement, but every once in a while it's just kind of whoa. That was rude. You had a stop sign and didn't stop. I kind of wish they would add, like, physical damage. So this tractor doesn't look terrible. Some of the vents and stuff look like they're just painted on there, but besides that, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, true. I try to, like, if I can, if I turn this way, I try to, like kind of limit my, my head movement, but every once in a while you kind of forget and you just do a full 360. Um, no, unfortunately. Basically, you just bounce off of them because they're technically indestructible. But if they added damage, that would be a cool feature. Like you have to call like a tow truck or something to come out and fix your vehicle or who knows? I think that'd be fun. Alright, so our field should be coming up here. Yeah, it, it, it's right there. I believe this is a field that we uh, were working when we were cultivating. Alright, so I can turn our beacons off. Let's limit the speed. And let's do steering assist. Yeah, we'll do this one. Oh, actually, that was, uh... That was AI. We're gonna do this. There we are. Alright, so hopefully we have enough fertilizer here. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, that would be fun. And technically, I don't have to fertilize the whole field. I just have to fertilize enough of it. Uh, probably not today. Because I have about a half hour of this stream left, and then I have to start getting ready for work. Um, but you can check out my YouTube channel, and then uh, I have some information in there, too. Okay, so we're going to head this way, and actually when I'm, yeah, we'll just do this. We'll just go around the field. Yeah, we've only used 5%, we're 42% done. Yeah, I probably overdid it on, on the fertilizer, but I wanted to be uh, make sure I had enough. Actually, you know what I could do? Because I bought the fertilizer myself, I can unload it from the fertilizer spreader and actually load it into my personal fertilizer spreader, and then I don't have to buy fertilizer. That's what I'm going to do.
Yeah, we're already at about 60% complete, so. Yeah, one more pass up the middle and we should be good. I was like, is that a plane? I can hear a plane. Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to go up this section right here. Like, we're not going to hit 100% of the field, but we should hit enough to actually finish the contract. There's going to be a little sliver right there remaining. I kind of wish that was the thing though, like, keep the contracts the way they are, but like, if you decide you actually want to finish the field, like, you get a little bit of a bonus or something. I think that'd be a cool feature. But yeah, if you, if you check out my YouTube channel, you can get, like, all of my, like, the stream schedule and stuff through there. Also on Twitch, too, actually. And then my Discord information is in there as well. Alright, and then let's go up this way and just finish up this little section that I missed. 97, 98, you're going to make me finish that little bit over there, aren't you? Yep, you are. Which is fine. And there we are. We are done. All right. So now I should be able to head home. I'm going to wait for this car to pass. Let's see. No land available, partial width. Unload, okay. So I'm gonna unload the fertilizer once we get to the farm shop. And then I'm gonna grab our fertilizer and load it into our fertilizer spreader. But I should have enough money to buy another field. Which is actually really exciting. So yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna gonna go to the farm shop, unload the fertilizer, finish the contract, buy our new field, and then I'll load up our fertilizer spreader, grab the fertilizer I drop off, and then we will uh, plant the field. And we're just gonna do that as a grass field. Oh, thanks. Alright, there we are. Alright, and now... I guess I could have went through right there. But we'll go right here.
Nice. Perfect. Just plop them out. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go grab our fertilizer spreader, load up the fertilizer, but first I'm gonna accept the contract. Or I guess complete the contract, and bam. Which should allow us to buy... Yep, we have 108,000. Which means we can buy... This field right here. Which does not leave us a whole lot left. We have 1,600. Yeah, so let's go and grab our fertilizer spreader so I can load up that fertilizer. And the next time I do a fertilizing job, I'll remember to bring our fertilizer with us so I don't, I don't have to make multiple trips. But we did buy another field, which is exciting because I'm going to turn that into our, uh, a grass field and then I can do some grass work in it. And it's actually this field right here is the one I just bought. Yeah, I had her. I had my stream schedule uh, scheduled today, and then I'm gonna update it for this week. So it's actually not updated quite yet. All right, let's turn our way in here, and let's go and grab our fertilizer spreader. So, I don't think I'm going to go live tomorrow, but it'll be the day after. So, what, well, today is Monday, so Wednesday? I'm probably going to edit this stream and then upload it to my YouTube. Granted, most of this stream I actually was being fairly productive. There wasn't a whole lot of wait, waiting around and driving around aimlessly. So I might just upload the entire stream. I have not decided yet. Alright, so let's go grab the fertilizer. Like, typically when I edit my videos, like, the driving portions I edit out, but I haven't really needed to edit a video because I tend to be fairly productive the entire time. And, well, the AI has gotten significantly better than some of the other games. Like, I remember, um, I think it was FS17 or 19, like, when the cars got stuck, like, you had to... There was an option to like unstick them, or else you had to like turn them off and turn them back on again for them to get stuck. You'd like just be driving and come across massive pile ups of cars. It was actually really funny. <laughs> One thing I do like about this game is like the fog and how realistic some of the areas look. And there's our fertilizer. So I guess it's not a not a huge waste. Because you can end up I like how it just opens up automatically when you're near it. Oh 
Alright, that actually filled this up quite a bit. Alright, so let's head home, and then I should still have enough seeds in our, um, our cedar, so I can plant grass on that field that I just bought. And then since it's already 6 o'clock, let's actually sleep and we'll do that task tomorrow. Yeah, so I'll uh, sow this field tomorrow. I want to buy those fields too. I want to buy everything. I need I need a lot more money, and I need I need to pay back the loan I I took out. There's so much I need to do. Yeah, I'll I'll get there eventually. When I actually started, I started on normal, but because I wanted I wanted to to um, progress a little bit faster, I switched it over to easy. Yeah, and my plan, because I have the, the, the field down there, I have these three fields here, my plan is to actually um, merge these three fields. So I have, just have one giant field here. Yeah, and what I try to do is if I turn around this way, I try to turn back around because, like, you can, like, in re like in real life, you can, like, maneuver your body so you can, like, see directly behind you as long as I don't, like, do a full, you know, owl spin. Should be fine. Alright, and let's sleep for the night. Just, Grandpa just stares at you. It's kind of creepy. Alrighty, we have $975 to our name right now. Alright, let's go grab our, our sewing, our sewer so then we can sew that field. should be right there. I'm hoping this tractor can handle it. He is kind of scary. He's kind of creepy. Oh, yeah, we have, we have plenty of freaking seed in here. I think there's a glitch um, with, with the seeder, though, because like I've seeded multiple fields, and this has barely gone down. So I think there is a glitch or something with this cedar which is fine I mean they'll fix it eventually so might as well take advantage of it one thing I do like that they uh, is like the sounds like the ambient sounds amazing so let's switch this to oh I missed it grass I want to buy this field at some point, but that one's really expensive. But we'll get there. I could take out a couple more loans and stuff and have to pay those back, but I'm trying not to do that if I don't have to. So I think what we're going to do... Um, actually, there is a crop already in this field. I should have looked at that beforehand. Green beans. Alright, I'm going to have to plow you. So we're going to drop our cedar off probably right here. And let's go grab our cultivator. 
I completely spaced the fact to see if there was anything actually grown in that field or not. And I'm, I'm going to have to use our challenger for the cultivator because this tractor cannot handle it. I just like driving this tractor around because you can like see that the gears move and stuff. It's awesome. Oh well. Alright, so let's go grab our Challenger. Yeah, this tractor cannot handle that cultivator. And our Challenger's in the shed where we put the fertilizer spreader. other side. Apparently I forgot where I put it. Alright, and let's go. I do want to buy a pressure washer at some point so I can wash all of our vehicles and equipment. Here's our field. I like how like in some of the machines you can hear like the metal like scraping against the metal the when you're folding or unfolding some of these implements. There we go. Let's get rid of all these beans and plant grass here. Yeah, so in the next episode, we should be able to harvest our uh, four fields. And then we'll have quite a bit of money coming in from that, which will be nice. Missed a spot. Um, I'm in mountain time, so it's about 9 a.m. Where, where I'm at.
Oh wow, yeah, that, that's a bit of a difference. <laughs> there we are. You know what I could do is I could plow this field a little bit and like try to make it a little bit bigger. It's kind of an odd shape in some areas. head this way. So if I do steering assist, let's see here. I guess I could do that. And actually I was pretty close to where the steering assist line was. That's funny. One thing I haven't figured out is a hotkey to hide the line, because it would look a little bit better if the line wasn't there, but I mean, I'll take it. And of course I missed a chunk. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to back up so I can hit that because that's a fairly large chunk that I just missed. There we go. Alright, now, now let's go back to the GPS. And actually I'm not going to GPS this section just because I was slightly off yeah since you joined my discord server I can just um, let you know I plan on doing a multiplayer playthrough eventually for people who joined my uh, my discord server I feel like that that would be fun all right so let's lift it up and probably just go back around this way Yeah, so I think what I'm going to do is, once I seed this field, I'm probably going to call the episode here. I just wanted to get this field situated. And yeah, typically I do about two hour streams and we're coming up on the two hour mark, so... It makes it easier to edit my, my videos if, it's, if there's not a four hour stream in there. to do it um, I'm not sure I, I haven't thought about it yet I mean I'm gonna think about it a little bit more and then um, I'll let you know 
So I would probably do a different map than this one. Since this is kind of my YouTube playthrough, I would probably do another uh, one of the other maps as a multiplayer map. Don't do the Europe one. <laughs> yeah, I, I haven't actually checked out the other maps, so I'm kind of... I'll probably check it out, but yeah, I'll, I'll uh, see which one I want to end up doing. I'll probably do a, try to do a playthrough on all of them just to kind of, you know, get a feel for them, but... Yeah, I haven't checked out the other maps yet. Alrighty. One last pass, and then the cultivation will be complete, and then I can actually sow our field here. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And this field is now cultivated. So I'm going to put our cultivator somewhere out of the way. And what we'll probably do is just stash it right here. So let's grab our sewing machine. And it should be set to grass already. Alright, so let's do the steering assist. We'll just do six. So I think what we're going to end up doing is let's do let's do it right here is where is where we'll start it. And it is a slightly different color. So this shouldn't take us too terribly long. Actually, what we're going to do There we go. So, I probably didn't need to cultivate, but I feel like it made a... Oh, I did need to cultivate. Good thing I cultivated. I was seeing if that little piece of um, bean that I missed actually got destroyed when I went over it, but it did not. And then yeah, I have a few minutes left of the stream, but 
we are gonna get most of this field done. And then what I'll probably do is I'll finish sewing it in the next episode. And then we'll probably do a couple more contracts and then we'll, um, the other field should be right, ready to harvest. At some point, I would like to upgrade my cedar, but this definitely does the job. And yeah, look, I've barely used any of my seeds, so I think this is glitched. There we go. Let's see, how's it looking? And we have it saving. Yep, we haven't missed anything, so so far so good. I'm like hearing buzzing sounds, so there's bees flying around near me. Oh, and it is raining. I kind of missed a section right there, but I can always fix that later. I love how like the, the tractor just gets dirty and filthy. I'm kind of wondering, like, because I haven't actually dealt with the snow yet. Like, when it snows, I wonder if the snow like sticks to your tires and stuff. That'd be a cool feature. The only thing I think they need to work on, which is the same in almost every game, is like the weather. It is getting slightly better, but like, I feel like I should actually be able to see like the rain better than how I can. Oh, I kind of overdid that turn there. That's okay. So yeah, we just hit the two hour mark, so I think I'm going to call the episode here. Um, I'm either going to finish sewing this in between episodes, or it's going to be the first thing I do in the next episode. But I do want to get to harvesting, so what I might do is I might finish this in between episodes. I'll probably do a contract or two just to get a little bit of extra money. And then I will, um, we should be able to harvest our fields.
which is going to be extremely exciting. And then I, I did miss a little spot right there, but I can always fix that later. Um, but yeah, we did quite a bit. We got a, we got ourselves a new field. I'm planting grass here. We did a bunch of different contracts, um, so we ended up getting quite quite a bit of money. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna call the episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I will see you all later. And okay, so it does uh, when it senses snow. Okay, well that's cool. I can't wait to to see that, but um. Yeah, just hit me up in my Discord and I'll uh, let you know.